Hi Libra, welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and messages for the week ahead. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading because this is how spirit speaks directly to you. And let's see what message is revealed. Pleasure is important and I take time to consciously indulge. So this is about taking time for you this week. No matter what you have on the go, make sure that you take time for you because you are going to get an immense be benefit from this. There is some real positivity that's going to come. I am getting a sense of you recharging and relaxing, taking some worries out of your mind. So do what pleases you, spoil yourself a bit this week, even if it's something small. Do something that brings a smile to your face and brings you joy. Okay, so we have the Rose Quartz energy coming out for you. And one more card here. Actually, I feel this one poking out here is yours. So let's see what this card is. Fluorite. Find peace within. And the Rose Quartz message is open up your heart. So there's an important energy around relationships with the rose quartz and also about finding this peace within which I feel is connected into the first message here of um, indulging yourself consciously, taking pleasure, um, bringing joy into your life and doing things that make you happy. So I feel that that's going to bring peace within. And so that's related to that. And the rose quartz opening up your heart, opening up to a relationship, opening up to a person, opening up your heart. I am sensing that there's been some pain or difficulty uh, in your past and it has affected your heart center. And so healing this week um, may come up in an unexpected way. You may get an opportunity an unexpected opportunity to um, to heal, to, to clear that energy, to heal that energy. So I am sensing that this energy of the rose quartz is a beautiful open heartedness. And so that's the vibration that spirit wants you to be in and that you can be in. I'm also seeing that by refreshing your energy, um, finding peace within, this can mean meditation or spiritual practice. It is in fact going to open up your heart and will bring peace to your mind and your heart if you do this. So let's see what this deck will reveal. Okay, so we have a Libra energy here. You may be dealing with another Libra. A win-win outcome is forecast and your commitment is being tested the first quarter moon. All right. So a win-win outcome. Um, so if there's been any troubles, um, tension, some chaotic energy and things have not been balanced and you're thinking or feeling that a win-win is not going to come about. So the highest good for all concerned will not come about in the end. Spirit's actually saying here that it will. There is an opportunity coming up this week where you'll be able to use this energy. Um, you'll say something or you'll do something to help bring this into effect in your life. So that's really beautiful and your commitment is being tested. So it's just a test. If you are feeling at the moment or in the week ahead that that's to come, that you're not determined enough or you don't have enough strength or you just are procrastinating. It's just a test. OK, if you get into a disagreement or however this presents itself, because it can present itself in a multitude of ways, your commitment, it's just being tested. OK, it's not something that you should take too seriously or definitely not give up. Um, that's the message there. So let's take a look at this deck. This is a life uh, purpose deck. We'll see what comes through for you, Libra. 
Okay, this one here. Talk to your angels. I love it. And oh, we have two other cards that want to come out. Body work and travel as well. So we'll start with this card here. So of course, travel can mean that you have travel coming up this week. Um, might also mean that you're planning travel or you're looking to get away in some respect. But when it comes to life purpose, your life purpose involves traveling as well. Uh, so that's important. Uh, traveling, journeying, uh, moving around to different places. That's all part of the life, your life purpose. And talking to your angels instead of worrying, ask for divine guidance. So if you are feeling um, that you're not on track or your path is not clear, your angels are here to guide you. Don't worry. Instead of worrying, instead of having anxiety, ask for divine guidance and talk to God, source, energy and your angels because they're, they're here to help. They will help you if you ask. Um, your life purpose as well might be working with angels or them bringing through intuitions, you working with your intuitions and instincts and bringing that through in your career. And the final card here is body work. Your life purpose involves body work such as massage therapy, energy healing, physical therapy or exercise training, anything to do with the body, healing the body or working with the body in some respect, body work. Um, this is to do with your life purpose. You might also be in training for um, in a course of study or training when it comes to healing, body work, energy. Um, and also I'm seeing here that you might be looking at... Um, moving into this energy yourself for your own health in some way. So you might be looking at getting a massage this week or looking at booking an energy healer or you might be exercising more. So there's a, um, yeah, a focus on your body this week. So I'm seeing that on, on that level also. So interesting messages that Spirit wanted to bring through. Okay, let's take a look at this deck of cards here for you Libra guidance for Libra please spirits Libra let's see this card here let's start off your your tarot with this card so we have the lovers flamingo true and long-lasting love finds its way into your life follow your heart with caring actions and choices and this is Gemini's card so you may have a Gemini around you um this is about a love relationship. So you're feeling really connected to someone, uh, someone new perhaps, or if you're in a relationship, there is a potential here for a strengthening of a bond. And a strengthening of a bond it doesn't have to be with love. It might be strengthening of a bond with something that you're wanting to do. You're strengthening this, you're putting um, action behind it. So say you want to, you have a passion, you want to pursue doing something this week. This is you creating that bond with that thing and it coming into your life and it's strengthening your life. So that's also a meaning here of this card. And it is important to follow your heart with caring actions and choices. So um, the choices that you make this week are going to have a profound effect on your heart and how you're feeling. So just keep just keep that in, just keep that in mind. We have the two of autumn. You may be under stress because of multiple jobs or too many responsibilities for one person to manage. It's important to balance your work and personal life and bring a spirit of fun to all you do. So that spirit of fun is this energy of pleasure, bringing joy into your life. So we have that repeating um, message coming through. So that's important in the week ahead. So there's a balance that needs to come into play. And we did have the scales here. Um, so again, there's a repeat of the message. 
might be work and personal life, work life balance perhaps, but it might be in a relationship because we have the lovers or perhaps another area of life for you. You'll know what is out of balance. It will become abundantly clear what is out of balance this this week. And that's going to come to the forefront. So you'll be able to to look at that and, and manage that and find the best solution for you. The seven of winter, the magpie. Caution will help you avoid the loss of valuables, including non-material resources such as time or peace of mind. And that's really interesting because the fluoride energy is finding peace within so we have peace within peace of mind i feel that there is a strong message from spirit spirit saying that your peace of mind and peace within is really important to maintain that balance within you this week no matter what's going on externally be aware of the results of your actions as well as what others might be doing behind your back. So there's that sixth sense. Um, if you have an intuition about this, uh, someone might be doing something behind your back or behind the scenes, something else might be going on. You'll have a feeling about this and don't dismiss that at all because it is true. Okay, let's see your next card. The world energy is about completion. There's a victory wreath here. So this is about success in some endeavor. It's coming to the end of the road, a finalization, but there's a victory and a success uh, in your life here. Congratulations on successfully accomplishing what you set out to do. You've made it through the challenges and incorporated the lessons life offered you with grace and courage. So yeah, coming to... The end of a phase in your life or in an area of your life at least and there's a wholeness and a healing to this card also which is really nice because it's right next to the open heart so that's great okay your final card is the king of spring and the keywords here are inspiring dramatic ambitious and wise now's your moment to step up to a leadership role this might be in your professional life. It might be in your personal life. You'll know where it is in your life. You need to step up. It's, it's obvious. Um, if this message is for you, don't back away from the spotlight as your plans will be successful as long as you stay focused upon the big picture. So there is success here. Don't back away from any, um, from any energy or um, any spotlight energy, any energy coming your way. Um, someone or people, maybe in the workplace, or might be in another situation, they're going to be looking very closely at you, perhaps critiquing you or judging you in some way. Don't let that uh, disrupt your plans because they will be successful. You will be successful in the long run. You are the person with the crown here so stay focused on the bigger picture and don't get embroiled in um, whatever is going on behind the scenes or whatever negativity might be thrown at you um, don't let others disrupt your plans so that's very inspiring and beautiful energy coming in for you Libra I hope you've enjoyed the reading. It's been a pleasure to read for you. If you did like the reading, you can click the like button or subscribe to the channel if you'd like to. I really do love and appreciate you all so much for all of your support on my channel. Have a wonderful week and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye for now.